that is naturally already there in wound healing and we are trying to increase it. So the newer one that I've been looking more into and starting to play around with a little bit is Thymus and Beta 4, which is also called TB500. So these are kind of in the basic science research world what the research is showing TB500 can be beneficial for. Just like BPC is naturally found in the human body, TB thymus and beta-4 is also naturally found in the human body and is actively involved in the wound healing process. And so the current concept and idea behind this is we are introducing a substance that is naturally already there in wound healing and we are trying to increase it. This, I think one of the reasons that I haven't used this as much as I have with BPC is in my mind, and I know there's been a lot of really positive research behind this, it's in clinical trials, all that kind of stuff, but it goes back to this whole guiding versus forcing thing, right? In my mind, BPC is like a, hey, we're setting, somehow we're setting this body up to better respond to a stress and do it in the way it's going to. This is more like, hey, here's one of the peptides that's really active in the first part of healing, so let's just give them that. Maybe this is one of the holy grail things that we can give as a single intervention and have a positive effect on wound healing. Maybe it's not, and we're seeing, we're not seeing the long-term consequences because we haven't been doing it long enough and not enough rigorous research. I don't know, but I think on my side of the equation, I think that's maybe why I don't use it as much as I do BPC. So, promotes wound healing through VEGF, angiogenesis, can help with hair growth. The thymusin uh, peptides, both thymusin alpha and, and TB500, both seem to be good for hair growth and has major anti-inflammatory effects, which can be, again, can be beneficial if it's not excessive. So the TB4, the thymus beta-4 gene is the first to be upregulated after an injury. So that's where this concept came from on maybe why this could be beneficial to use. Enhances angiogenesis, cell migration, and then also promotes stem cell differentiation. All the stuff I basically said, it's clinically in phase three clinical trials, which means it's safe, right? It's past phase one trials. So we at least know that it's safe. It doesn't cause, it's not, it's not killing anybody. So that's good. Music